Now, my pitch to you would be, if we see it in the brain, it's the same receptors only found in skeletal muscle, we can assume that there is uh, androgen receptor downregulation also in the muscle tissue. Yeah, yo, what's going on, guys? This is Spartan here, nutrition training and hormone expert and Prometheus Pro Bodybuilder. Guys, today we are back again answering your submitted questions. Question of the day is on testosterone desensitization. Guys, uh, the question is, does testosterone desensitize over time in the human body? Let's talk about this because this is a highly debated and hot topic in the fitness uh, and athletic world. Here we go. Guys, it is scientific fact. It is not arguable at all. Testosterone or androgen receptors upregulate and downregulate in the human body. You have upregulation of the androgen receptor sites and you have downregulation going down in the human body. This is in response to testosterone anabolic steroids, SARMs, anything that attaches on to the androgen receptor site. Again, it is not debatable. Androgen receptors upregulate and downregulate. Uh, we see this in human studies. We see this in animal studies. You can do a Google search and type in androgen receptor uh, upregulation, deregulation, whatever you want. We also know that androgen receptors increase in both sensitivity and also the number of androgen receptors um, in muscle tissue, in brain tissue. Um, so it's not debatable. The only debatable point is, is this one. Do androgen receptors upregulate or downregulate in response to high amounts of testosterone? This is the only question that is up for debate uh, biologically and scientifically, and that's exactly what we want to know, right? So I'm going to give you the best knowledge that I have available, and I'll let you guys make your own decisions, but here we go. So guys, basically we know, again, AR receptor sites upregulate and downregulate um, in the human body uh, in response to things like hard training. We see that. That's obvious. You know, the harder, the more intense training, the higher upregulation of existing androgen receptor sites. And again, that's in response to testosterone or anything else. We see in studies that L-carnitine, either taken uh, bioavailable in foods, such as you know red meat, pork, basically guys, the redder the meat, the more L-carnitine, natural occurring L-carnitine uh, in that food. So whether it's taken again, L-carnitine in food, or also, or as uh, the most potent L-carnitine or most potent L-carnitine supplement we have, uh, which would be L-carnitine tartrate, which is a wonder compound. And I'll talk more on that at length. But having said that, the last way uh, is again through growth hormones. So, you know, the higher growth hormone levels in the human body, that also has an effect on upregulating and repairing androgen receptor sites. Um, so. Here's the thing, guys. Does the golden question, does testosterone desensitize at higher dosage? The answer, in my expert opinion, is yes, it does. Now, if we look at you know real-world hands-on application, we see, such as a great example, guys, would be testosterone or HRT clinics. We can look at data and we can see that men uh, that come in with um, who are supplementing high levels of testosterone, when they first begin, libido, drive, um, that peaks, that goes up, it peaks out, but then after continued use, that stimulation goes down and kind of plateaus off. So we see 
that these things, now this would be representative of um, basically AR receptor sites in the human brain. So we know right away that, you know, again, when people begin testosterone, uh, HRT, TRT, and they go on, we'll just say, let's say you go to prometheushealth.com, you know, you get your testosterone HRT prescription. They're going to put you back at your levels when you were, when you were uh, 18, 17 at your peak. Okay. So let's say you go and you get your HRT prescription right off the bat. They said, okay, here's 250 milligrams of testosterone cypionate a week uh, with some HCG and also gonadotropin, so that your pituitary gland um, does not have any atrophy. That's what release, releases LH and FSH. We'll talk about that more in another video. And your testosterone levels peak right up to where you were when you were 17 or 18. You know, 1,200, 1,400 total testosterone. You're feeling great. You know, your libido's through the roof, your drive's through the roof, you wake up tons of energy, you barely need any sleep. But what's going to happen over time is those effects are going to go down slightly and then, they'll, and then they'll plateau off and you'll stay there. And this is what we see in hormone clinics. This is what we see in hospitals, medical centers uh, with people that are receiving testosterone replacement or even people that are... Um, uh, doing these testosterone, these high testosterone uh, pilot studies. So having said that, guys, we see in the brain, just from the evidence we have, that in the brain, we are seeing down regulation of the androgen receptor sites in the brain. Now, my pitch to you would be, if we see it in the brain, it's the same receptors only found in skeletal muscle, we can assume that there is... Uh, androgen receptor down regulation also in the muscle tissue. And we see this not in studies, unfortunately, we don't have them, but we see this with professional bodybuilding and athletics. We see people, you know, using um, high amounts of testosterone, getting tons of progress, tons of gains. But what happens is these gains block off. Now, you know, there's two reasons to this. You know, the reason would be androgen receptors you know, downregulate, even though the body, it's proven that the body's making more receptors. So more receptor sites, the higher testosterone dosage you go are being created, but the sensitivity is going to be lower. Uh, we also see this, um, we also see this uh, again with athletes um, that are having um, testosterone or hormone uh, replacement. So uh, my question, guys, and the question that you guys should be asking is, how do I keep my testosterone or my androgen receptor sites uh, peaked up? This would be my answer to you. You want to do your testosterone replacement, hormone replacement, whatever. Uh, you're going to do that for you know a period of time after you stop noticing muscle gains, athletic gains, uh, and you've kind of bottomed out, even though your nutrition, your training, everything's on point. Uh, when you're ready to take a break, come down. I would split your dosage in half. For example, you know, uh, I'm prescribed right from the hormone clinic, you know, HRT clinic, 250 milligrams a week of SIP. You know, what I would do is bring my uh, testosterone um, dosage down to, you know, 100, 125 milligrams a week instead of 250, um, which is, you know, a high TRT. Um, and let my body resensitize probably for about a month, a month give or take, a little bit over maybe. And uh, at the same time, I would also bring my protein intake to the norm just to give my kidneys, my liver a chance to uh, recoup and be at their best. Guys, that's pretty much it. Testosterone desensitization in a nutshell, and we are out of here.